actually here with Joshua behind me and his Nikki Hayden bike, which I will get to in a second. But guys, as y'all probably saw in the last video, yes, I unfortunately got rid of my V4. Um, the link is up in the description above, but don't worry guys, I am actually getting a brand new motorcycle. Uh, for those of you, of course, who follow me on Instagram, probably can already guess what it is. If you haven't, of course, as always, please like, share, and subscribe, as it greatly helps me grow on my channel. So, for today's video though, the focus is on his bike because um, I have the privilege of working with a company who actually sent me some free goodies and said, hey man, it'd be great if you can just, you know, try it out, give it a review and see how it is. So, full disclosure, um, I actually got a pleasure of getting a phone mount from V4 Evo. Now, I wanna make sure that I premise this video. I did not, you know, this is a free product, yes, um, he's not getting to see the video before it's posted and no money exchanged hands. Okay, so this is a completely, you know, unbiased opinion. Um, if we like it, we like it. If we don't, we don't. But without further ado, guys, we're going to kind of get into this video. Um, as y'all know, guys, I want to do more videos like this of kind of, you know, more information because as I'm sure y'all probably saw on my last V4 that I had a stin mount that I got from Cox Racing. Now, the unfortunate thing with that is, is that, you know, Obviously, the whole plan wasn't to be a foam mount, but for most people with a V4, that's not really the most optimal way, I guess you could say, of having a foam mount. So this is kind of a cool alternative for those of you who are looking for ways out there of mounting your phone to your motorcycle. So before, though, we do that, let us get a look-see of what we have here. So the biggest thing, guys, that people have a misconception about as a bike is this is not decals that is a actual paint job guys which it is an amazing looking machine as y'all know i will also link in the description my full walk around and full explanation of his v4 but in short this is a 2019 v4 s nikki hayden tribute motorcycle that is a mouthful hmm. further ado we got this guy here which is the foam mount from v4 evo so i'll hand it to this guy here and we will see, because again, guys, this is the first time I'm opening it too. So I'm, I don't know how it looks, what it takes to install it. We actually have no idea. you what color it is? No, I don't know what color it is either. I have no idea. Hopefully it's black. It's pink. pink. It's well, pink. I do it pink. Pink's good. I like pink. I'm going for another wrapper. Okay. So, ooh. Uh, that must be grease. I think that's, yep, grease. Bam, Greek. Awesome. Got in here. All right. Okay. So we got the mount that this obviously goes up in the stem. Let's pull this out here. Solid Ziploc baggie there. Okay. So a little bit of crud on there. Obviously, the, not a big deal. Probably not going to see that. Okay. So we got that guy. What else do we have in here? Our foam. And the mount itself, and it's black. Nice. Okay. Perfect. And guys, I'll have to actually check online once we're done with the video, because I actually don't know if it comes at different colors, but he definitely sent us a uh, black mount, which is good. And yeah, that looks nice. It. That looks nice. And it's, mm, it looks like it's cast. That doesn't look like machine. That looks like a cast part, but obviously it's adjustable. Oh yeah, that's pretty sick. I like that. That's nice. And it's solid and cool. Okay, so there's that. And here's the foam piece. It's going to go up in the stem to hold that other piece up in there. I kind of know how this goes. Uh, and then, I don't know what those little guys are. Some kind of sticky foam pieces. Oh, those probably go on the ears here so to protect your phone. Yeah, because I see little some four little like cutout pieces there. You can kind of Make, oh, okay. make them out. So those are going to yep. go in here so you're not getting your phone scratched. Hopefully it holds the phone in the case because, you know, I crashed one time with my phone in the case and phew, phone was fine. My knee was screwed up. Oh, and you get some stickers. Oh, that's always good. Gotta have stickers. Okay. So it's pretty straightforward. Seems like it. Uh, there's no instructions. So you kind of just have to figure out. Now I do know guys on his website, he does, uh, he said that he has a in instruction video on how to install it. 
but we have a helicopter mechanic here, so it shouldn't be that hard. It should be pretty straightforward. Yeah. For a helicopter mechanic. So now I, I bought a cell phone mount from him a long time ago. It was a different design, not as clean as this design. Obviously, they've made some upgrades, some changes, and one thing I'm hoping that they did was machined about another millimeter off of this metal piece. Boy, this is a long, there we go. Because these little guys right here were about a millimeter too thick. And when you come over here to this little phone dial screw right here, they did not quite fit in there. It was just a little bit too thick. So, I mean, you can check just by doing this number here. Just put it on there. Oh yeah, perfect, nice, so they, they did it. So they must have had some feedback from customers saying, hey, these are just a little tiny bit too thick, or people that just didn't have a clue and just jammed it up in okay. there. Now guys, real quickly, why it's getting that together, I also wanna to explain the also reason why I didn't do the review on my bike was because, like I said, I had a stin mount that was a full piece. So as you can see here, with his bike, mine was an entire piece itself. So actually for mine, you have to pull the entire um, clamp up and off, and then this screws out, and then you put the whole thing in with the one inch ball. But the con to Cox Racing is, then you have this massive ball sticking out, you know, and protruding from the tree. Back here, there's gonna be a circular piece of plastic with a couple little tabs on it. So you wanna take a little screwdriver, stick it up in there, and pop that little plastic cap off of there. But do it carefully, because if you don't, and you break it, then you're gonna have a difficult time with this project because their foam is not gonna stay up in there, which you know, I guess it doesn't have to stay up in there, but you you want it to. Um, and you don't wanna lose this, this cover. Okay, so here's your little cover. This is the guy here. It's just clips on either side. It basically, it mounts up in there like this. So if you stick a little, take a little screwdriver, just pop one of these tabs, it'll drop down. This is probably about, you know, three, four hundred dollars from Ducati to replace. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't want to lose it. <laughs> so, okay, so what you're going to do now is you're going to take this guy, you're going to put it up in there, leave this off, take this off, push this up in there, and then you're going to push this foam behind it. And the whole purpose of the foam is just to hold that up in there. You can, I guess once it's screwed in, you could take the foam back out, but there's no reason to. It's not going to absorb water. It's not going to hurt anything. Uh, and then you just put your little cover with this notch facing forward back in there and it just that just holds that guy up in there. So we'll take this now, I'll put this up in there and then you're just when you put the screw in, you're just going to pivot it around until these tabs match up with these notches right here. Pretty simple, pretty basic and I have a feeling that this is going to go real easy. So I'm going to do this right now. Okay, put this up in here. Let's see, under 60 seconds? Mm, sure. Probably, I think. Well, now that you've put time limit on me, now I'm gonna freak out and <laughs> screw up. Now and there's no pressure now. Now there's pressure and I'm dropping things. There we 100 go. miles? So it slides up, hmm? 100 miles you have one now? Close to 1200. Um, Wait, 1200? Yeah. Really? Uh huh. Yeah, I rode like 300 miles last weekend. I probably did, like, I don't know, like 75 a day or something. Oh, I can see it from here. Okay. There. Now, so what I would do is I'd take, so now I'd put the little cap on, because that's up in there. And, oh, see, there, dropped it. Perfect. Okay. I mean, this is really easy. And, you know, the V4 Evo, Honestly, they make some really cool stuff. They got a lot, like some definitely some drool worthy parts. I, uh, I've got kind of a list going, but V4 Evo really does make some really cool parts. Okay, so that pops up in there. That's done. Now I'm gonna take a little screwdriver here. I'm just gonna rotate this guy around, if I can, or maybe not. It moved a little bit. There we go. Okay, that looks like about, a, mm, not quite. There we go. Okay, here we go. So we got the countersink in this piece. They're probably like slapping their heads going, God, come on, man. 
but mm, it could be a little better, I think. Just being honest, because it is recessed, but the head of this screw, this is the helicopter mechanic me, the head of this screw is hitting on either side right here, so it's not actually sinking down. So either machine out a tiny bit here, guys, which maybe increase the cost too much, or go with a slightly smaller headed screw. You could keep the same um, thread, thread uh, and, and grip size, but just go with a slightly smaller head, because if you look there, you can kind of see it. And once it's tightened down, it'll be okay, but yeah, you know, the neurotic me is kind of like, all right, I'll put this on here. Screw this down and pull that metal piece up into this. And I have a feeling that this same metal piece works for all their accessories that are. They come up? Oh, we'll find out in a minute. It should be pulling it up. No, I don't see it. No? Well, let's just back this off. I don't want to. This is obviously some sort of just UHMW or some sort of polystyrene 3D molding. Yeah, it did. It pulled it into that notch. And so that keeps the threaded portion from turning. So right. take this guy under here. This is a standoff. Put this guy here, this guy here. And we just put this on here. And that's cool. It doesn't cover up my little uh, laser etched 69. Although my phone will, I guess. But why does it go like this? Because if your phone will be sideways, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I think it goes sideways. So I guess that's to your... All right, all right. That's a little asymmetrical, and I'm very neurotic, and the Akrapovich exhaust is enough asymmetrical that it kind of annoys me, but it's really good system, the full system, with all the carbon and the titanium. So, and don't go crazy, guys, because this is a screw, so don't over torque it, because you'll shred the threads, and then you're done, and you're gonna be crying, and your little track day, excursion or your ride with your phone is gonna suck. Wait, you wanna see the fist of phone first? Yeah, but I need to put these little pads on. Got it. So, put these little guys on. And I would say, what they're probably gonna tell you is, oh, may prep the area with alcohol first, but it's two in the morning and you're in your garage before track day and you're like, I don't care, I just gotta get this on. And you're not gonna see it anyway. As long as it's stuck on there, you're fine. It'll be fine. You'll be okay. Don't worry. Just. And what's cool is we have actually three phones. I have my iPhone too, so we can test out all oh, three yeah, phones. That is great. And see, because I have okay. the big note. Yeah, the phablet. The, <laughs> the phablet. That's, That's a new totally one. what it is. Phone tablet. Okay, so let's see how big this gets. That, all right. Hmm. And these pins, these guide pins on the side, like that is nice and stable. I really like that. And it's knurled, right? So kind of like my Bonamici levers with your with the little adjusters on the yep. side here. You got gloves on, you can totally adjust this with gloves. That is super nice, I like that. And it's black, which I, you know, I mean, it's awesome. So this is cool. Man, you could put a, you could damn near put an iPad mini in this thing if you really wanted to. I don't know where my phone is. I got my phones too. Okay. Oh, see, but here I've got this guy on here. I've got my pop socket like every, uh... so let's see. Well, let's just try it. Yeah, let's try to see. Uh, nothing embarrassing on my phone right now. So, mm, that looks cool. Cool, but I think with the pop socket it's an issue, but that's okay because you like to be able to navigate with a clean looking phone mount like this, I'm willing to make some sacrifices. And yeah, that's not gonna work. That'll just pop right out. So but, that's so, okay. but it's good to know about the cases though. Yeah, it I I think it would have fit this case just fine without the pop socket on it. I, I think it would have been just fine. So let me so then I'm just going bare Product red iPhone to match my Ducati, because I'm stupid like that, but whatever. Wait, did you really get it for that reason? Yeah, because that red's my favorite color. <laughs> and then black's my second favorite color. That is such a Joshua thing to do, That's guys. That's totally what I would do, yes. 
All right, so, boom, look at that. Oh, that looks so good, except for the like whatever weird spots on my phone. Oh man, that is so clean. Uh, and so like, let's see here, if we go to Moto Corsa, boom, look at that. You type in, I go to Moto Corsa so much, I can go M, Moto Corsa, boom. Nice, dealer, oh, they're closed. They don't open until Tuesday. And so let's, let's so let's open this up. Let's see if it'll fit with that case, which is cool, which is cool. I didn't buy one of their cases because I was holding out for this, and you know I was like, yeah, this is nice. Okay, let's see here. Oh yeah. So these kind of have these little fingers. Yeah, I see that the little fingers. Yeah, on it. it's got just a little bit, dude. Yeah, you can fit it totally. You don't have to take that case off at all. But I can't do without a pop socket. Like, I don't know what to tell you. Like, I gotta have a pop. But I'm totally willing to throw that in my uh, jacket or backpack or whatever. Now, how do you feel about having the, the phone this this uh, position? Sideways? Yeah. As opposed to vertical? I like it. it it's better sideways because it's not messing with my TFT display on the bike. So I can still see that. That's not blocked out. And it's got me, it's, you know, the landscape view for GPS is totally fine. Um, I really like this. The only other thing I would suggest them to do, um, aside from fixing that whole screw interface with the Kate with the thing there, like this is solid, it's not moving, is maybe in these two notches here, because you got foam here, right? But there's no foam on the back. So guys like me that uh, have to run without a case because I got a pop socket, maybe a couple little pieces of foam under here, some some of this other thin foam, throw in a few pieces. Otherwise, I'm going to have to go find some. I don't know where I'm going to find foam that thin. Um, I guess I could put some like clear vinyl stuff on it or, you know, just some like wrap, some clear wrap stuff. Just so it doesn't scratch the back of my phone because it's going right. to vibrate. It's going to scratch. Cool. Well, guys, as y'all saw, that is our review of the V4 Evo phone case, guys. As always, please like, share, and subscribe. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Um, we plan on doing a lot more videos like this. Since I have a mechanic as a friend who's very uh, particular about everything, which is a good thing, which means all the bikes will be done right and correctly the first time. So guys, have a great night. It's 2 a.m. in the morning. We need some sleep, and I'll see y'all in the next video.